Hello, Linda. Your dress is nice. Aww. Thank you. I have a too great message for you that I think you may find rather troubling. I will be going for a two-month leave. Can you repeat that, please? I said I will be going on a two-month leave. And what this means is that you will not hear from me for two months. What? You can't be serious. That can't be possible. Um, Mom, are you okay back there? <sighs> Sorry. What did you say? I said, are you all right back there? Uh, why do you ask? You screamed out loud just now. I did? Oh, sorry. Please ignore that. I was just speaking to someone on the phone. Oh, sorry. My bad. Yeah. You can't be serious. I bet you are serious, me. I am serious, madam. I want to rest and beg. I am attending to over 400 of your types around the world, and the job is really tasking. You mean to tell me that there are about 400,000 of people that are like me out there? Oh, you thought it was only you that were kako. Sorry to bust your bubble, but there are other people like you with similar but variant accidental gifts all across the world. Well, that's not important right now. What concerns me is the fact that you're going to leave me alone all by myself. Don't call me a crazy girl. Don't call me a crazy lady. enough for the green background. The light is enough. You're not shooting a Nollywood movie, madam. Just make sure your lights are well positioned. Send it to me when you're done, okay? Okay, thank you, Lola. Thank you. <sighs> what happens to all this? What happens to what we do here? The people we attend to. Oh, doesn't that matter to you? What happens to me? The money I make here and, and everything that has to do with my life as Sister Lynn. Am I just supposed to, 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 to put my life on hold because you want to rest? That's not fair. You care so much about yourself and what happens to you. What about what happens to me? Don't I count for anything or am I just the means to an end to you? But you are a terrestrial being. You're not supposed to get tired. That's not true. Because even God rested in the Bible. So who am I not to rest? I'm sorry. I don't mean to sound selfish. It's just that you can't leave me. Not now, not ever. Linda, I'm out. See you in two months. Fine. I'm done with you. In case you didn't hear that, I don't need you. I can be fine without you. It's not as though you do much around here anyways. I'll be fine all by myself. All you do here is make your silly jokes and keep quiet when it concerns my matter. I don't need you. I don't need you. And that's on a period.
I need your urgent help, madam. Very urgent. What would you like me to ask the universe for you? Hmm? Oh, I'm all here. Speak to me. Um, you see, I'm a banker and I have several accounts that I'm managing. Unfortunately, one of my clients passed, leaving over five billion naira in his account. Oh. And over nine months after he has passed, nobody has showed up to claim the money in his account. So, so the money started disappearing. Mm. Uh, around uh, 100 million naira disappeared. Wow. Yes. So what happened to the money? Is this ghost that has been removing the money from the account? Mm, not exactly. Okay. You see, um, I figured that there's no real estate investment or mm. supermarket in heaven. So I thought that probably the man could spend the money on me mm. and my other colleagues. So we decided to help him invest the money here on us. You mean you stole the dead man's money? Wow. <laughs> stole is not the appropriate word for what we did actually. So what is the appropriate word actually? Investment. Investment. We help the man to invest his money here on us. But don't worry your pretty head mm -hmm. because we have a plan to give accurate record of all expenditure that we incurred during this process mm -hmm. uh, so that we can give him the de detailed report mm -hmm. when we get to heaven. Mm -hmm. I hope you understand what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I, I don't quite follow. You mean you spend the man's money here on earth and you give him a report of how it was spent when you eventually die and go to hell? Hell, okay. mm. I know, <laughs> I know. Heaven, see heaven. Mm. Yes, when we meet in heaven, we give him the report. So how soon do you plan on dying? No, ah, die okay. mm. No, not now, now. <laughs> that should be in another 60 or 70 years. What exactly do you want from me? <clears throat> you see, madam, mm. now Kasala has boasted. The bank discovered what we did mm. and they are bent on inviting the EFCC to conduct forensic audit mm. on the account mm. since the death of the man. Mm. <laughs> Madam, mm. Madam mm. if they succeeded in conducting this audit, oh. I am finished. Oh. Ah, in fact, last night, I dreamt I celebrated my 70th birthday in Kirikiri prison. That's not my portion now. You still have not told me what you want me to do. I want to know. If you can use your power to confuse all my enemies so that they will never think of conducting the audit, mm. I want all my enemies to scatter by fire. Well, this is not mountain of fire where people scatter by fire. This is Sister Lynn's the seer's place. I not some Dracula that uses voodoo to affect other people's life. I can only tell you your future. And anything other than that, count me out. Mm, well, okay, that's okay. Uh, she be, I will see the future. Mm. And if I can see the future, I can decide whether to jump back or to stay. Mm, okay, then we're getting somewhere. But you will have to pay me first. How much? 70,000 naira. And 5,250 naira VAT. You charge VAT here? Mm -hmm, of course. Cash appears. Thank you. My name is
I said it. I can do it without you. Just take a look. I just made 70,000 Naira without your help. If you like, stay or leave for 20 years. Mama Wakpa said, I shall be all right. Eh, hey, Linda, it's time for you to that. They will not remember to conduct the audit. Uh. And you said that they will not even remember that I stole any money mm. for your information. My boss just called me now that I should come and pick up my sack letter. Ah. And I think that is not even enough. Eh? EFCC, mm. police, DSS, NSDC, OPC, even now my mm. they've invited me just within one hour of your wuru wuru process. Eh? Oh yeah, give me my money. Mm. Ah. Ah. You have even used my money to do the audit. Ah. Police are looking for me. I will have had you arrested. Eh? Get out! Give me my money! Sister Lai! Sister T! Sister Lai! And what do you think you're doing? <laughs> wow. It's like somebody has missed Rodo. Habi is my eyes I spend him in. It's like you want to go through another near-death experience. Only that this time the near-death will be removed. Are you threatening me? Oh, dear. I attack that they threaten. You are broke. You don't have a man. And you're just about to take the job that will actually kill you. Ha! Ah, universe, you can lie, oh. Just tell me that you miss me and stop putting fear in my mind. I know, say you know the year word. You get coconut head. Hey, guys! Who said being petty is cheap and immature? 
people will step on our toes. This is how to be petty 101. So my girls out there, <laughs> if you notice your man is cheating on you, there's no need to whine or shout or confront them. Just do this. Number one, become a detective. Go through their phones, gather all the information you can concerning them, screenshot them, and then print them out. Number two, become a camera woman. Follow them around wherever their promiscuous leg is taking them to, and snap, 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 snap. Take pictures of them doing their manly scum like evil deeds, and then print them. Number three, become besties with the suspected babes. Take selfies with them. Don't forget to print out the selfies. Number four, <laughs> become a good partner that your scum-like man failed to be and tell him you have a surprise for him that he should look his best. Number five, this is the final step. Unleash the petty demon in you and decorate your room with the pictures and proof you printed and watch your scum melt. Thank me later. Namaste, T farms. But here you know I'm not happy with you. What I do? You abandoned me. And I almost got killed by that crazy fraudster banker. Hope you know you're really funny. Mm. It's funny to you, Abby. If he had broken my head with his craziness, would it still be funny to you that time? When the guy came back and saw that you were doing Dorime with his money, <laughs> the guy Para, <laughs> Mr. Man, Para. Don't you ever leave me again. Okay. Because sometimes your head no the correct. I learned from you, you know. See you. 